Hi, this is JNM again. I get a lot of requests these times for creating new tutorials, and quite a few want me to show how I created my low poly trees. Well, here's the tutorial. Have fun. This is Blender 2.78 and my low poly assets project. I press M and move to a free layer to create my low poly tree. First, let me set the 3D cursor to the center. And then I enable my screencast keys add-on so that you can see which keys I'm pressing. Okay, first let's create a single vertex, just a point in 3D space. Here we go, great. Now switch to edit mode, and then always select a vertex, press E and extrude out new vertices. Always the same, select the vertex, press E, extrude out. Then select this one, press E and extrude. Till we have a kind of tree-like looking model. Yeah, this looks nice. Very simple, but it looks like a tree. Now select some vertices and move them around to make it look a little bit more randomized. Okay, that's good enough. And now we are going to add a modifier. In object mode, select the modifier tab and select skin modifier. All right, that's quite big, too big, but no problem. Change to the wireframe mode and then select the vertices at the top. With the box selection, press the B key and select them all. And now press Ctrl A and move the mouse and you can see how these branches are getting smaller. You can always select a vertex, press Ctrl A and change the size. Okay, now let's switch to the solid mode again. And then I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier. Now look at this. And still you can select the vertex and move it, scale it as you like. And now I'm defining the shape of my tree by moving around the vertices, by scaling them, by rotating, till I'm happy with the results. And once I'm happy, I will apply the modifiers first, the skin modifier, and then the subdivision surface. And then I switch to edit mode and here you can see the resulting mesh. Okay guys, now I will enable proportional editing here in the toolbar. And when I select the vertex now and press the G key to move it around, you can see that the white circle appears. You can change the size of this circle by using the mouse scroll wheel. So what is proportional editing? It means when I, for example, move around elements, other elements that are nearby these elements are also affected. Like for example here, all the vertices that are nearby my selected vertex. And the white circle defines the radius of influence. All right, and I'm done with adding my imperfections. But you say, well, this isn't low poly. And that's true. But there's a nice method to decrease the number of polygons. And this is using a modifier called decimate. So switch to object mode, select decimate, and decrease here the number of polygons with this slider. Not too many. This looks really nice. When I switch to edit mode, you can see the number of polygons after I applied the decimate modifier. And this is now a really low poly model. And still I can select vertices, for example, with proportional editing enabled and change the shape of my tree. Okay, now I do a very simple UV unwrapping for this low poly texturing. I just press U and reset. Then I open a new window, a new panel, and select my UV image editor. 
And here's my texture for low poly texturing. I already demonstrated this in a previous tutorial. I have a couple of squares here in different colors and I unwrap this with reset in a way that all the unwrapped polygons have the same size. Then I scale them down and move them to a particular square to define the color. And that's it, that's my texturing process for the tree and it is completely textured with a brown color. Alright, now let's add some leaves, low poly leaves. And this can be done, for example, by adding a new mesh of type Ecosphere. Okay, I changed the size of it. Move it to a position here at the branches. And now comes something very strange. I changed to sculpting mode, increased the size of my brush and used the grab brush to change the shape. Then back to object mode to set the position. Then again to sculpt mode and adjust the shape. Okay guys, and once I'm happy with my shape, I'm using the same process as before for the tree. I'm going to add a decimate modifier and decrease the number of polygons. Alright, and now follows the same UV unwrapping process as for the tree. Press U, reset, open the UV image editor, load the texture, assign the material, and now decrease the size of the unwrapped polygons and choose a color. Yeah, this one. Okay, then I'm going to duplicate this in object mode. Switch to my Sculpt tool and adjust the shape again just to get some variations. Now we'll do this for all the leaves that I'm going to add. Just duplicate it in object mode, switch to the Sculpt tool, adjust the shape and the position. And once I'm done with this process, I can select each of these ecospheres, switch to edit mode, and define a different color by just pressing the G key and moving the unwrapped polygons to a different square. And by using this approach, we get a nice low poly tree with many colors and one material. This kind of texturing is very efficient in your game engine. You can use one material for all your objects and you will get one draw call, no matter how many objects you will use in your scene, because they share the same material. Okay guys, let's regard this as finished. What I do now is I will select all the objects, press the A key, then Ctrl J and they are joined to one object. Then I will select this vertex here and move my 3D cursor to that location. Then change to object mode and move the pivot point to that position. Okay, very nice. And now I can move this object to the scene on my first layer. Press the M key and select the first one.
and here we go. Now I can render this, and this is the result. My friends and Blender fans, I really hope you find this video useful, and if you like my channel then don't forget to subscribe to not miss a future tutorial. And also think about supporting me on my Patreon, this would really help a lot to keep the quality and quantity of my videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you soon on JNM.